Welcome to Feeding Time. I am the big guy Ryback. And today, guys, I probably should move some of the stuff out of the way here. This is trying a further back shot. Um, I guess some of you food weirdos like to see the food at all times. Um, all of it is very fascinating to me. All of it. And uh, But I guess we're going to just show you the food the whole time. And then you're gonna watch me eat it and you'll probably hear me talk about some stuff. So anyways, today guys, just got done doing a huge back workout and uh, P90X abs and some planks. We got um, wing time, garlic Parmesan wings. I got 18 of them to make sure these are, oh, those ones are a little tinier. But we got 18 garlic Parmesan wings. We'll keep those hot over here. I like to throw up the W's. Wing time. What time is it? Wing time. Bitches. They gave me three of these. Not, I don't, I, was gonna, I didn't ask for it. Ranch. Ah, shit. It shot everywhere. That's what she said. You got to be careful. We're going to do a little ranch with these. I got some fat furry ranch in the fridge, but we'll use the wing time ranch. Can you guys see it still? Somebody's, ah, oh, this is okay. You can see a little bit there. I got my water. I don't like this far back shot. I feel like you guys are too far away from me now. I hope, I hope a lot of people complain about it. I'm not gonna see it or care. I might see a few of them. The, uh... all right, so this is the wing time garlic Parmesan wings. We'll see how these are. Okay. I've debated. I know how I can get a lot of views on YouTube. I think I can crack the system. If I just never said anything and just changed the channel channel to Neanderthal eating, I'll give you guys a little demo what it would be like. I tried it the other day with messier foods and I really think there's something to it, but it was just... Mm. But something like that, just the whole video, the messier the food, the better. Eat, chew, everything that people hate. I may make one video and do a tester with it and just title the video Neanderthal Eating. We'll see how it does on YouTube. I really think there's something to it. It's like the Hulk and the Avengers. I didn't want to see him being smart. And I, and I, I think I, I had a... a you know, I get it. You just want to see Ryback be hungry and destroy and smash. You don't care if I read books or listen to audiobooks or do other things. You're selfish pieces of shit. You just want to see me smash things. I get it. I get it. Neanderthal eating. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a maybe one weekly video of Neanderthal eating. These are really good. Mm. 
so hungry. Wing time. They got some good wings there. I haven't had these in forever. You gotta eat the whole thing. Can't give a review, just eat one wing. Which is going right to my back muscles, my lats. I'm able to do pull-ups again. I've been working really hard every week on them. They're not easy. I used to be able to just wrap them out so easy. That's because my shoulder though and the lat issues. I'm good for like anywhere from three to five, depending on the grip and where I'm at. But I'm also 290 plus pounds right now. But I used to be able to do a lot. I put a thing out a while back. The only way to get better at push-ups is, or the only way to get better, you put any exercise in there actually. The only way to get better at pull-ups is to do pull-ups. You can't, you can read all the books you want to read on pull-ups. You can watch all the educational videos you want on pull-ups. You can go to all the seminars from the top leading fitness experts sports physiologist on doing pull-ups. You're not going to get better at pull-ups unless you do pull-ups. And you can plug that in to anything in life. That makes sense? There's some of you I know it won't, but most of you I think it will. The end of the day, you just gotta jump in the water, right? Mm. There's a lot of oil on these, though. A lot of grease. That's why you do the whole review. You can't just do a wing, you gotta go the whole experience. I'm pumped, pumped. Tonight is uh, UFC. Which by the time this come, comes out, it'll be over. So you don't have to say, it's not, it's not Saturday, it's Wednesday. Well, I know that, Jeffrey. You're dumb. We got a Feed Me More Nutrition $2,000 cash giveaway going on now. Check the comments for the details on that. $2,000. We've given out $5,000 so far total. <clears throat> That's a stimulus check plus $800 from the big guy Ryback.
Should have got more napkins. I actually was gonna do um, uh, Taco Bell cheesy uh, stuffed, the grilled, or the cheesy stuffed burrito, or the grilled cheese burrito. And uh, they were all, they weren't selling them anymore this time, so. Went with a little wing time. It's time, it's time, it's wing time, 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 time. For the marks. I do like wing time, but I will say they're not my favorite wings. But I haven't had all the flavors either, so there's a chance that I'm missing some. My stem cell is actually this week. I don't know what day this is going out, but my stem cell procedure is on Wednesday. They're gonna inject uh, my stem cells into my nerves, my perineal and superficial nerve um, in my left leg where I had my ankle injury from Nexus. And uh, the doctor botched it, but it was three surgeries. They had to take out all this metal. <clears throat> the guy ripped all the myofascial tissue. They had to go back and repair all that the, during the third surgery. And they had to take out a foot long metal plate that I didn't need that did that. That he put two big ass screws in my perineal right directly in them, directly in them. I got electrocuted for months. Like my nerve, it was, it was, it was, there's a reason I got a little bit of anger in me. Let's just say that. And a lot of it came from that, if not all of it. Uh, but a lot of good has come from it as well. But um, they think they can regenerate the nerve into my big toe. My big toe don't work has it, my whole entire run as Ryback was with a gimp foot. So, uh, but it doesn't stop me. I can, but it, my balance is not, not the best um, on my left foot. And it's improved slowly, but they think they could they get it back. So, giving it a shot. But those nerves run directly into my uh, L4 and L5 on my back, and those were the first two discs that started going. Granted, I know that backpack stunner didn't help, like I've said, but it was, um, and they've told me, it's all connected. So it was, uh, for me, getting my health back and gotten my back back to where it is, I'm just going the full, the full Monty, I guess, uh, no, that's probably not the right phrase to use, but I'm, I'm going all the way. Eh, I, can work. I guess I could work. The, uh, to, to getting my health before, you know, returning. I only get one body. Done. All right. That was, uh, man, what a branch. That was the wing time garlic parmesan wing. Uh, this is a wing review. Let the 
dogs get a little snack off the ground later. Like I said, wing time is not my favorite wing place. It's good. Don't get me wrong. Um, I, I prefer, I like, I love Buffalo Wild Wings, and I actually really, really like Pizza Hut's Wing Street. I need to do a video on those. They're buffalo, and uh, they're hot, and garlic parmesan. And that I used to, when I was eating meat all the time and chicken, um, I would eat those, especially when I was on the keto diet, I would eat them quite a lot more once or twice a week to, to, on, the, on the keto, my keto days, the, well, every day was the keto day on that, except for the, when you do a cheat eventually, which would be carb days, but um, a carb day. I'm giving the garlic Parmesan on a scale of one to 10. Or scar, we do a scale of one to five, don't we? Maybe we need to start adjusting. We need a little more wiggle room on this. I'm changing it up. I'm going one to ten. I need a ten star system for these food reviews. You got to, you know, you do things a certain way for a while, guys. It's okay to change. It's okay to evolve and adjust. You, oh, I started with five. I got to keep it with five. No, we're gonna. I think we're moving it to ten, asshole. I'm giving it eight, eight, an eight point two out of ten. That's a good score. Good score. But it's no uh, just personal preference. Buffalo Wild Wings and uh, and Wing Street from Pizza Hut. Those are my, my top two. Their garlic parmesan on both those places are delicious. Both are different. Uh, and this is different than those even. So, but uh, very good. A little greasy, uh, as you can tell. I don't know. If it's hard to see, but ah, shit. Luckily, that didn't fall. Maybe there's, um, yeah, this one you could definitely tell. There's grease all on that bot, like just it, way too much for my liking. But that's what you get when you, when you eat fried foods. You never know how much of that you're going to get. So thank you guys very much for watching. That's my review here on the Wing Time uh, Wings. Again, they have a lot of flavors, different ones. So check them out and uh, let me know what you think about Wing Time in the comments. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching this Feed Me More TV episode. To check out my podcast, The Ryback Show and the Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report, please support us over at Patreon, patreon.com backslash Ryback. We have two different tiers available over there for both those shows. Feed Me More Nutrition available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. All first time buyers can save 25% on the website with discount code SAVE25. And for all personal videos, from yours truly, cameo.com backslash the big guy Ryback. Thank you guys again. Love you very much. Get hungry, stay hungry, be more. Feed me more.